Hello, First Baptist Church of Mustang Church family. I want to share a brief video with you and give you some exciting news today. You know, as a church, we've been studying back since August through the letter of James in the New Testament. And where we arrive this coming Sunday in chapter 4 teaches us an incredibly important lesson. He says that you should not be presumptive in your planning, that you should not say on such and such a day, we'll go into this town and there we will conduct business and we will make a profit. Instead, what we should say is if the Lord wills, we will do that. That's not just idle religious words. It really is the way of life for the one who walks by faith and not by sight. We don't want to make our plans apart from the providence of God, which means we can do our best to organize and strategize, but at the end, we do recognize that our plans are simply if the Lord wills. So with that in mind, I say today that if the Lord wills, our plan is to begin meeting for worship on Sunday mornings in person again as a church family for those who are able to beginning Sunday, May 31st. That's right. Just around the corner, uh, we anticipate being able to welcome our church family back, those who are able, in just a couple of weeks, which would mean this Sunday, May 17th, will be online only and May 24th online only. But two weeks from this coming Sunday on May 31st, our intention is to be able to welcome our church family back. Right now, I am standing in our sanctuary and it's empty. And it has pretty much been that way since March 22nd. And I cannot tell you how excited I am to be able to welcome people back here on May the 31st. Now, there are a couple of things you need to know. When we come back on May 31st, there are still some social distancing measures we need to have in place. These will include, we were gonna be uh, roping off or taping off every other row, uh, leaving those empty, uh, which cuts our seating capacity in half. Further, we're gonna ask families to sit together and to leave two chairs between them and other families, just doing our very best to try to keep each other as safe as we possibly can. We're gonna have two services, the first at nine, the second service we're gonna push back to 11 o'clock. A couple of reasons for that. One is it gives us time to get the first service out of the church building before the second service comes to try to keep our hallways clear as much as we can. Secondly, it allows us a full hour between services to be able to clean our facility before we open it back up for the second service. So nine o'clock and 11 o'clock. Another thing that you need to know is that starting May 31st, we will not be able to resume children and preschool Sunday school. That means that everyone who comes to worship will need to be in the sanctuary. So if you've got preschoolers who normally are in Sunday school during your worship service hour, you'll need to bring them in with you. So is it gonna be a little noisy? Yes. Are children gonna be a little bit wiggly? Yes, we get it. We're okay with it. We want your family here if you're comfortable being here. Now, there are still some who need to take their time before they come back. Uh, there are certain people because of age, because of medical conditions, uh, or just simply because of what they're comfortable with. Uh, it's not going to be time for them to come back yet on May 31st. We understand that, all right? This is just the beginning of a process of regathering. We're going to continue to live stream every single Sunday. We're going to continue the very best that we can to minister to our entire church family, whether they are able to regather here yet or not. But either way, it's extremely exciting to us that we can begin this process of seeing more and more people begin to join us starting May the 31st, all right? So you should be receiving a letter from us that's going to all of our church membership in the next day or two uh, that will explain more about our regathering plan. As always, if you have any questions, please call our church office, 376-4567. Visit our website, fbcmustang.org. We're here to serve you. We want to help you, and we want you to understand all that is going on. We do not know 
for sure how long this schedule will last. We really are taking this uh, just a couple of weeks at a time as we understand everything is subject to change and we need to be flexible with that. But if the Lord wills, Sunday, May 31st, we begin the process of welcoming people back to our church, nine o'clock and 11 o'clock. There is no preschool or children's Sunday school. Everybody is in here. We're gonna sit every other row. We're gonna leave a little bit of room between families. We're gonna do our very best to keep everybody safe. We're not gonna be shaking hands. We're not gonna be passing an offering plate. We're gonna do our best to, to practice social distancing. At the same time, uh, we're gonna be excited and very joyful to begin the process of gathering back here on campus. All right, I love you church family. I look forward to seeing some of you May 31st, others of you as time goes on and you're comfortable and able to rejoin us here in person. We'll look forward to welcoming you and we're gonna continue to serve the very best we can and make the most of every opportunity available to us. Join us this Sunday morning online at 1030 for our worship service as we look together at the book of James. And there could not be a more timely message for us as we are taught from God's word. We are not gonna be presumptive. We are going to trust the Lord, rest in his providence, and we will do what we plan if the Lord wills. And if he does not will, we will give him the glory all the way, no matter what, and we will trust him to take care of his people. So be excited, be prayerful, be looking forward to May 31st as we begin the process of welcoming people into our church sanctuary. If you have any questions, let us know how we can serve you. God bless you.